Hey guys, it's Dominator9000 here, and I am bringing you uh, one of my favorite games that I have ever played, FTL. Um, I currently have 58 hours in this game. I, I just play way too much of it. Um, oh, this is the one I modded with all the different flat guns, just to have fun. Um, so yeah, I really wanted to do a playthrough of this game. Um, I don't know, a random ship. Um, as you can see here, I have quite a few of the ships unlocked, but I'm missing the Slug Cruiser. Um, there are two ways you can do this to get the Slug Cruiser, is to go to the Slug Homeworld and uh, do missions through there, or beat it with the beat the final boss with the one before it, so the little victory there, defeat the flagship with any layout of the Mantis. Um, so I'm going to do that. Uh, I prefer Mantis B, just because you have that four room teleport, it's hard to start off on, I'm not going to lie. Um, but if you can get a good couple of jumps at the start, <clears throat> usually pretty alright. Um, so for those new to this, uh, we have our crew down here, so Rebecca and Pippalock, you can customize them if you want to. Um, here is where your weapons would be normally, but this we this ship does not start out with weapons, this ship starts with drones. So here we have our boarding drone, which will board the enemy's ships, and our defense drone, which will stop stuff from hitting us. Um, here's your sort of layouts of your different power, so you have like shields, uh, engines, oxygen, weapons, drones, medbay, piloting, sensors, doors, and teleporting. Um, you also have augmentations, you can have three, so the mantis pheromones mean I get increased speed. Um, yeah, and that's about it for here. Um, of course you can choose your different ships here, your different layouts, hide room, show room, no, I didn't really know why you wanted that. Um, yeah, and they have Advanced Edition, which really got me back into the game, because I did play a bit of it before, but when Advanced Edition came out, I started off and I just got a lot, lot more into it. Um, and I just realized there's a little rock band there, it's a carrying box. Go Rockman, there's a little person there fixing what looks like a Kestrel, I think. I'm not sure there's... Oh, wow, I've never realised that. I've played 58 hours of this game, guys. I've never realised that. I'm going to go easy just because I want to unlock it. Alright, so the day you carry is vital to the remaining Federation fleet. You'll need supplies for the journey, so make sure to explore each sector before moving on to the next, but get to the exit before the pursuing rebel fleet can catch up, otherwise you will get ruined. Um, weapon on? Yeah, we all know that. So, here's the main screen. Um, as you can see, your weapons down here. Your drones are down here, and they have a five and a six, which means uh, you can press the five and six key to use them. Um, here's your doors, so you can open your old doors if, like, you need to move oxygen around or close them all. Um, there's a teleporting button, which I have. I think T is the hotkey for it, so I'll be using that. I'm going to move you into there first. And one of the great things they did is add this little save your current crew position. So you press slash, and they save. So if I move him over to here, and then I'm like, oh, quick, get back to the teleporter, bam. He's back there. Uh, so here's your evade, how much you can evade oxygen. Uh, that's your fuel, so each time you jump to a new star, you have to use fuel. Uh, missiles, I don't have any because I don't have any weapons. Drones, I have a lot of because I have a lot of drones. And this is just scrap. So scrap is used for everything. It's used to buy weapons, it's used here to upgrade everything. So all these cost like, that's 10 scrap, 35 scrap. Um, the other thing about uh, upgrading your ships is you have power bars. So you can only, up you can only use as uh, many power bars let's rephrase that um, you can only upgrade uh, you can upgrade as much as you want up here but it won't matter unless you have a power bar in it um, there is a battery that goes here which can be used to help that um, you get like a temporary boost in power um, here's your crew which doesn't really help now because I don't mean here's all your equipment this is all your uh, attached weapons and drones here's where you have extra weapons and augmentations um, so yeah, so that's about it for the basics. Let's start store. I have no money, and you're that's going to be a dead end. God damn it! <laughs> I missed out on the store straight up. Uh, you can't grab space station. I'm sure you received a message from the command tower. Greetings. We recently lost contact with a cargo ship that was set to deliver more construction materials. Could you help us figure out what happened to them? Yeah, I might as well. Hey, so I got a quest marker. I got some fuel and some drones. Drones will be good now. The RNG gods hate me. I can't go back there! It's a dead end! I'll get caught by the- Come on, you stuff it. Steal your bloody fuel and drones then, you butts. Oh, boring. Okay. Well, let's jump again. See, see, this would have caught up to me straight away. <sighs> Why do you do this to me, game? Alright. Oh! Pee off. Alright, so these guys don't have uh, oxygen in them. So, 
I can't really do a lot. I could send a boarding drone over it, and like if it gets stuck in here, uh, I can switch between two rooms every time it breaks a room and get rid of a health. Um, but there's not a lot I can do. It only has beams, so it can't attack me. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna wait. Um, well, I mean, I might as well talk about like some of my favorite runs. Um, one of my favorite runs was actually with Kardak. Uh, he was staying over, and I was playing late, and he'd uh, gone, he was half asleep, and I actually ended up unlocking, I was thinking I was playing the, uh, the Federation Cruiser, which is the third ship, um, I ended up unlocking the Rock mission, unlocking the Stealth Cruiser mission, and beating the uh, Rebel Flagship, which is the end boss, um, so I unlocked three ships, and then because I unlocked a certain amount, I unlocked this, uh, the Lanius Cruiser as well, so I unlocked like five ships in one run. It was like the best run of my life. And then, yeah, after that I got the uh, Zoltan ship and yeah. So I'm going to jump away from here. I'm going to go this one because it's a small jump. Sort of going to plan this out because I think I can go down here, which I will. Alright, so we've got now. Oh, this looks, this looks not so nice. I'm going to send a boarding drone out straight up. Uh, oh, they have missiles. It's not going to go well for me. Let's just send you over to oxygen. Well, shit. <laughs> oh, pardon me, sorry. Um, that's a breach, so the oxygen in that room is going to deplete slightly. Um, once it's fully depleted, I do have to repair it eventually, but until then, yeah, it's not going to go well. Oh, oh, piss. I'm going to just teleport him back. Um, get rid of this fire. Because if you get rid of all the air, you get rid of the fire. Oh, yes, alright. So my boarding drone killed all the crew, which means I'm safe for now. Um, I'll open all doors. Oh, no, no, no. I'll pause. Open all doors. Close that. So pausing is a really uh, different strategy in this, where you constantly pause um, the game in between shots to sort of figure out where your men are. Um, some people don't like it. I, I personally didn't use it for a long time until I, I figured you could do that. And I'm like, wow, this makes it a lot better. Like, it just makes everything a lot easier. Um, mantis are the worst to uh, fix stuff as well. So, I gotta get them fully healed before they go into this oxygenless room. I think you can do something if you open all doors. I'll close all doors real quick. If you open all doors, it should equalize oxygen in the room. Nope, it's just gonna. It's going to steal oxygen for everywhere. So let's just close that off. Hopefully they can get that fixed too sweet and I'll fix them up. Oh, they're, they're, they're not going so well. All right. uh, unlike uh, other repairs where it'll be red there and it'll build up, as you saw with the med bay, uh, the hull breaches stay at the point they were. So that's very helpful. Hull breaches are just a pain. If I can get any crew member soon... I can chuck them in, um, engines. <laughs> oh, my screen is a little blip thing. Yeah, my screen, my FTL game will do that every now and then. Alright, so I might... Yeah, alright, cool, let's go. Oh, yeah, if I can get another crew member, that'd be great. Anyone, really, so I can chuck them in. Oh, a rather large fleet of civilian ships are helped up in this beacon. It appears to be a rebel checkpoint. Everyone's being inspected for possible tides of federation. No one has noticed you yet. Okay. I'm not sure if I should bribe them. I could just, I could just attack them. Yeah, let's just attack them. Damn rebels. Alright, yeah, so my... Oh. Alright, sweet. So I'm going to send him over there. Just get in that room. Actually, no, you can get in the engine room. He can take people one better one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, Mantis are uh, very good at uh, fighting. So that's why, of course... We oh, you have to go fix the oxygen straight away. Uh, okay. Nope, no, he's gonna die. Okay. Oh, uh, this is this is not going so well for me. Uh, my boarding drone will be able to do a lot of damage though. I'm gonna just oh, there's a fire now. Uh, oh my, they kill my boarding drone. That sucks. Hopefully they can fix the oxygen real quick. Hopefully my boarding drone will come back online. So there we go. Send another one out. And 
I'll fix my engines. Yeah, the, uh, the boarding joints should kill them. Fix my piloting, sorry, not my engines. My engines are... Yeah, yeah there we go. Uh, my engines are over here. And hopefully my oxygen's stabilizing. Yeah, let's chuck them both in the bed bay. <laughs> they need a little bit of medical therapy. Ah. Uh, see, I'm not one to um, put a lot of... Uh, power into oxygen armor. Um, it can help a lot. I'm gonna make this oxygen reloading a lot faster, but I can just wait usually. Uh, Alright. Uh, just bugger off. Oh, I've got two shields, so that'll shoot one shield down, and then laser will shoot another shield, so I should be okay. My shields, yeah. So they won't be able to they won't be able to hit me this time. Missiles just go straight through shields, they just ignore all shields. Which sucks. <laughs> yeah, now that's only stuff good. my dude's not doing too well. No, oh, I'm gonna teleport back. Yeah, I should really upgrade my teleports as well so I can teleport them in and out really quickly. Um it makes it a lot better. I oh, killed their drones, sweet. They're not gonna be able to do anything to me. It means I have to wait, don't have to wait for this to recharge as well. Which is nice. Um, die, die, die. Where's the other guy? Oh, there you are. Aha. And I'll take you on. Alright, sweet. Uh, I've got a bit more scrap, which is good. So yeah, I think I'm going to upgrade my teleporter. Yeah, so it's only 30, so that's not too bad. I'll get a power bar to power it. Just means I can teleport faster. Um, after a while, you can actually teleport in and out of those scouts, which have no air. Which is really, really good, because you can teleport in. Just start destroying it, and then teleport out, if you have enough people as well. Um, I will... I always take the top option to defend. Just because I, I know I 9 times out of 10 can. Let me to engage. Oh no. Boarding drone. Let's see where that lands. Oh, they got a laser. I'm fine. Yeah, so a laser can't penetrate my shields. I won't take any damage here. Thankfully. Do, 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 do. Just, just start dying. Oh, my mantis is dying. I'm just gonna. Hit. Oh, <laughs> he did not have any health. That was intense. Now, well, he's ruined their oxygen, so that's going to be a that's going to be a pain for them. And he's going to ruin the last guy, is he? Well, I'll have to send people. Oh, I'm going to have to send him over there. <laughs> God damn it! Take out the last bit of health. At least after that, this will fully recharge. So that's fine. Oh, I got. Oh, the outpost hails me. Yay! I got more scrap. I've got. I got a lot of scrap. I need to get off there before the oxygen start, lack of oxygen starts killing me. Um, I would, I wouldn't mind hitting a store now because about 80 scrap is where you can pretty much buy anything you'd want to need. Oh, I had no way for my boarding drone to reload. That's all right. It's good now. Oh, they have missiles. That's annoying. So there's usually always someone in the piloting position. Oh, I don't care if my weapons are offline. That doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, because they want to be able to dodge. Um, so yeah. Also, I, I forgot to mention another. Oh, that's that's not good. Because if that if the shields break, then they can get through with the lasers. Oh, so we went up. Alright. Um, I'll explain that sec. Because oh, just uh, just uh, just uh, thank you. Um, so yeah, I'll wait till we're done with this fight. This missile is. Oh, okay. The missile thing. I'll close these to let some oxygen back in there. Um, hopefully the hopefully the drone can take it out. There's not really a lot I can. I can send him back in, which is annoying though. Oh, there you go. Yeah, oh yes, I got a Zoltan. Alright, so while I'm here, oh uh, I want the whole oh, Okay, this is trouble. Okay, so first off I'll get everyone to start fixing stuff and I'll explain a few things. So when you scroll over someone, they have certain stats. This is their piloting skill, uh, so they'll get evasion plus five if it levels up. Uh, their engine skill and get evasion plus five. Shields will charge faster, weapon skill will charge faster, repair faster, and increase uh, the damage they'll do. Um, they're all 
leveled up to do certain things. So if something hits the shields, um, it'll give them more experience in that. So of course that'll go up really quickly. Um, yeah, and so killing enemies, that's why it's only eight for the thing. So he's killed eight. Oh, I don't know. I think he might have maimed eight. I'm not sure. Um, so our problem here is Zoltans, these little dudes here, they give off power when they're touching something. So here it has a little yellow bar. It means it's giving off power. Uh, so you say partially powered. Zoltan bonus always power, powers drone in first slot. Um, so if I put them in a room, so I put them in shields, it puts uh, a bar there and it takes a bar away. So then I have an extra reactor power. Um, the problem is I want to put these two into my teleporter because mantis are great at fighting. And so I want to send two mantis over. I don't want to send mantis to Zoltan because Zoltans are very weak. They have only so many health. Um, but if I put him into here, he won't give me that reactor bonus because this is a subsystem. It's not part of the reactor. Um, but I'm going to have to do it, which sucks. But hopefully I can, uh, again, find a store or find a uh, smuggler and uh, trade them something. Uh, you find a small space station. Yeah, it's, it's pretty... It's, it's, oh, well, well, that's boring. Found a stress beacon. I might go here and then go here and then go to the exit. Or I could go no. I'll go here. Um. So yeah, distress beacons come up every now and then. There might be uh, they might be a, a ambush or they might be an actual person. So we'll see how this goes. Um. Near my plant. Quarantine level five. Okay. Let's not let's not go down there. Ugh. This has actually been a pretty good run. I need to heal my ship up. Oh, um, this is going to be a problem because I think they're going to want me to lead them into somewhere in this sector, not in the next sector. So we'll see. That's for the next sector. Sweet. Okay. That's awesome. Um, okay. So here's another thing. So see this red line? This is where the fleet are about to move to. So this white line is where the fleet is. So when I move here, that white line will be where this red line is. And these little red dots, it means the rebels are about to control that. Um, they are a little bit harder ships, and they have this big weapon that, like, basically uh, gives you a whole lot of hull breaches. Um, it's not very nice at all. Um, so yeah, you want to avoid them as much as you can. Uh, oh. Yeah, okay. I'm just gonna send my boarding drone over. I'm actually, I'm going pretty well for drones as well, I think. Oh, they have Mantis crew, that's not nice. They have... Ah, uh, there's Zoltan crew. Oh, Zoltan crew blow up though when they die. So I've got to watch that because if he blows up on me and he kills me, that could be a problem. Uh, I'll be fine. Easy done. Easy done. It's a lot easier when you have two people in the teleporter. I have a lot of scrap. I don't usually have 150 scrap. So this is going very well for me. Um, this recording is going very well for me. This is my first time recording, guys, so feel privileged to be watching this. Um, Alright, let's go to the next sector. So here we have sector 1, civilian sector. Alright, and this is our map. So you have three types of things. Civilians, hostile, or nebula uh, sectors. Um, so civilian sectors can be stuff like NG sectors, Zoltan sectors, um, most of the friendly units. The red ones can be stuff like Mantis homeworlds, rock homeworlds, um, Mantis sectors, rock sectors, um, and also the abandoned sectors, which are the um, what do you call them? Not Lanius. No, yeah, Lanius. Lanius, never mind. Um, and then you have Nebulas. Nebulas, um, when you go into them, you can't use your sensors. Um, and sometimes you'll go into a thing called a, a Nebula Storm, and it means some of your reactor uh, you can't use. So some of your things will go offline. So I really want to avoid Nebulas, especially because it's untried Nebula. It's not going to help me. Um, the only reason I go to a Nebula is for a slug ship. So that's why I'll go along this one, because usually... Uh, ship things, uh, ship uh, missions come up after the 5th sector, so it's 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th. So that might be a slug uh, homeworld, which would be great, otherwise that might be, otherwise I get to here, which is the last sector and defeat the flagship. So I'll go to the civilian sector, after that long spiel of jargon. Hey, new sector! Alright. Oh, there's a big nebula in the way! Well, that's my quest, so I have to go there. Um, but nebulas are good in this, uh, if you go to a nebula sector, the rebels will advance normally, but if you go into a nebula like this, they will advance at half speed. So they'll be a lot slower. The problem is you lose your senses and you uh, yeah, can lose a whole lot of other things, which can be very, like this. 
Ah, some troops on board a Mantis ship. Okay. What are these? Where are they finding? They're finding my shields. Let's go get them. Oh, there's a lot of them. I'm just gonna go like this and then open all doors. That'll start stuff getting and they'll have to move to the med bay. I can easily take them out there. Oops. I didn't open the outside doors. I'm a bit special. Here we go. So they're in here. So I'll heal while I'm in here. So they can't... They, it goes down a little bit, but they can't really do much. My thing's going bad. Um, yeah. And it's all done. So I close that. Uh, so my doors closed. Uh, open it up so I can... Uh, all the air can go through. Oh, 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 oh. I forgot that I have to actually let the oxygen... Wait, what? Oh, crap. Um, okay, so my oxygen is offline. Um, let's put that online. <laughs> would be would be pretty great. <sighs> oh, let's forget stuff like that. <laughs> At least in this I have uh, three extra bars because of drones. So you don't use the bars while they're not activated. So while you, there's no ship, you can't activate a drone. Um, and then once they fully repair the shields, I can jump out of this horrible, horrible, horrible sector. Hey, one level. Yeah, so Mantis aren't the best at repairing, which sucks, so it takes a while to repair things on the Mantis ships. Um, yeah, Man Mantis is a very, very hard um, race to play, I find. It's not quite my playstyle. Um, I've been getting used to it because I've been trying and trying and trying and trying to get the slug cruiser. Um, but yeah, I'm just having little to no luck, really. Once I get stuff, can you bugger off? Um, I will do that because I might find a ship, but I can board them. Out. Mm. I need to get to a shop. Oh, I need to move one of you in there. Hopefully, if I leave it open, it won't drain. It's draining. It's it's draining all the oxygen. Okay. Hopefully that will be all good. Yep, all good. All right, cool. Uh, hey, about bloody time. I might just let this go till um sector two and then come back at a later time, do a part two sort of thing. Because, ooh, oh, okay. So I'm gonna buy a crew move here real quick. Um, but yeah, I might just go to sector two and then cut it off because this is probably going on about 20, 30 minutes already. Um, they all don't really matter. I like the word, I like mullet. <laughs> I like the name mullet. Um, so here we have some other augmentations. You can have three augmentations. I don't really want to, I don't want my FDL to go faster. I don't need stealth weapons because I don't have stealth yet. And I don't need a reverse ion field. Um, so here's some weapons as well. I could, oh, oh, chain laser would be all right. But I want to go, I really, really, really want to go um, boarding. So, I'm going to go full out boarding. I might actually buy two more crew and just put them into boarding. I don't see why that would be... I don't uh, I don't need money for anything else, really. So, I think I will do that. Um, you can go, though, into... I'm not quite sure. I'll put my stuff back in my, my things. Um, I might put you just in shields. Yeah, I think shields will be fine. Alright, let's save that. So I'm just going to have mad jump crew. Um, it's going to be good. Except the humans aren't good. They're good when they level up, so I might stick a, try and stick a mantis in even each room. Um, quite a bit. I don't really want to. But they might have something good. Upgrade sensors for 15. Okay, so normally you can upgrade through the ship menu, but usually these guys will do cheaper, so I will do that. Because that means I can see into other people's ships. Um, I don't have enough money for that store. Now all these stores pop up. Great timing. <laughs> I have 13 missiles. I don't need 13 missiles. Oh, bugger. Um, so I can't do anything because these are oxygenless. Um, I could try running them in there, but I really don't want to. So I'm just going to wait. This is where you need your engine upgraded. Uh, you can evade better, and also your FTL drive will charge faster. But I'm just gonna just going to sit here. And, you know, watch. <laughs> I might actually uh, stick one of these guys to my engine room so they can help it recharge a little bit faster. Oh, no, just, it just gives the vengeance. Now, you can go back there. Go back, Scoops. <clears throat> Look, 
excuse my voice, I might have to take a sip of water. Hmm. <clears throat> oh, I'm not quite sure when I started. I should have checked when I started. Oh, I can see down there. Okay, so I've been going for 25 minutes, so... Yeah, we'll see... Um, So yeah, I feel after half an hour. I'm, I am getting pretty hungry. It's pretty late in the day. I didn't have lunch because I had popcorn. <laughs> it was a bit silly, um, but you know. But yeah. So I might play a bit after, but I might cut this up because half an hour is half an hour is a decent time. Um, you know. Now you guys will know my thought process. Oh, I can't can't see anything. All right. So that helps. So see how it's a a lot less of a jump. Um, so that's because I'm in a uh, different thing. I mean the the, the what you call it, nebula. Um, I'm not explaining things very well. I need to explain better. I'm not sure if I want to go quest there and there, because I want some scrap, so I want to hit as many of these points before I go to the store. Um, as I said, you want about 80 scrap to buy anything decent. I'm not really sure what I want to buy, but... Oh, this is another store. Damn. Um, I don't really want... Ooh, mm, backup battery could be hacking's really 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 good I do need something for the last boss okay so you have Zoltan uh, ships which has Zoltan shields it's sort of like this blue shield here but they have a green bar you have to get rid of that green bar before you can actually get into the ship um, so the best thing is to get to the uh, Zoltan bypass which means you don't have to worry about it, or your bombs will teleport or your people will teleport fine um, that's the best way to go about it but it's very very hard um, to find, or well, I've always had trouble finding it when I need it. Um, so I do sort of need something for those uh, moments where I get into fights like that, which oh, too distress begins. Um, so I'm not quite sure. I'll go this one, this one, this one. Boom. Oh, um, I think I need a one. I want to hit that one when I go last. So I'll go. I'll go here. See what's see what's up over here. Who knows, I might even not hit anything. Oh, you just want I don't want fuel. I don't need fuel. I don't have the scrap for it. That sucks. I don't think I'm going to have the scrap for anything at this store, but I'm going to go anyway. Uh, let's... Oh. Oh, giant alien spies. Okay, this is always bad. Almost always. But I have the boarding drone option. Or you can have the clone bay and then it doesn't really matter. Yay, so that works. Uh, offer only a meager payment. Well, you're lucky. You're lucky. I'm, you're lucky I'm nice. So let's see what stories. Because the story is Zoltan Bypass, I'm gonna be gonna be a bit pissed. Oh you have no they don't, sweet. Um they do have a mantis though, which would would be much better. And they do have an NG. NGs are very good at uh repairing. Uh they're not good at combat though. Oh wait, they, no, they don't have um Zoltan Bypass. Um humans are just standard, skills improve slightly faster. Um that's about it. <sighs> How much could I get for that? I can sell for 25. So I can almost get butters. I don't want to sell my board. Oh, I could. I have a boarding party of four. Then I could get uh, King as well instead of Butters. Chuck him in there. Chuck one of the humans on something. Because uh, I do want fighting. 35, 15, 9. Yeah. Um, I think I'm going to skip it this time. I think I'm good with my boarding crew. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be other, other distress beacon and still make it to the exit before the rebel fleet catch up. Gotta risk it for the biscuit. <clears throat> Hopefully it's worth it, otherwise I will be very upset. So it's coming from a small space, the satellite defense system has gone haywire. Look for help. I can't, I know I can't do this. <laughs> um, but it might be worth it for the hull to get a... I don't have anything to fire. Hey, <laughs> it worked. <laughs> I didn't take any don't care. Okay. I fired nothing. I threw rocks out the window. Oh, this is going to be an easy ship to take. Pirate Scout, you are done. Oh, you have a flak, though. That's annoying. I will put my def no, I won't put my defense up. I could, I should hopefully be able to take them out very quickly. The NG has pins more. Oh no! Okay, that's gonna hurt a little bit. Oh sweet! So that's still gonna hit. Oh god, damn it! Ah, 
<sighs> Alright, let's get you guys all in there. And then you can go in there, and you can go in there, because you guys need healing, but you guys can all go there. So the other one they shot was a bio uh, ion. So ions will uh, disable your whatever system it hits for a while. So they will aim at certain systems, but it'll always hit the shield first. Um, and then, because it's a bio ion, it hurts the person in there as well, so that's why he couldn't move. Um, and the flak is God damn good. I love flak, um, as you see, is the modded one I have. Um, they shoot a whole lot of debris, and it just ruins everything. All right, so I can make it to the exit. <laughs> just that was a very, very close exit. Uh, this is the same thing again as uh, they're looking for Federation. So let's fight them. Let's do we can do this easy. And I'm gonna put oh, it's teleporting missiles. Never mind. I won't put a defense drone up. So usually if they shoot missiles, uh, the defense drone will circle around and shoot them down, but that's teleporting missiles, so they'll teleport into wherever and just, and just, uh, wherever that went, yeah, there, and they'll just destroy it, but it doesn't really matter. I didn't take too much damage there, um, and I can easily repair that, so that's good. Um, let's send you in there, because you didn't get hurt, everyone else can go to the med bay, and you can go in there as well to fix it up. Repair, my minions, repair. Repent, repent, no, no, repent. Um, I have a whole lot of scrap. I really need to find some more uh, stores. <sighs> um, alright, so let's uh. Alright, th we're at 30 minutes, so I think we're gonna stop it there. Um, I will jump to that. I'll go NG. I don't need to go to the nebula. They're just gonna catch up to me. Um, yeah, but we'll stop it there. Um, I'll, I'll just have a quick little map. Oh, there's a store right there this is going to be good. But yes, I'll stop it there and um, yeah, hopefully you'll come back for part two because part two shall be good. I've got a store coming up and you know, i got a, I got a lot to go through. I'm only up to sector two, sector three, sorry. So yeah, um, well yeah, this has been Dominator um, and I hope uh, I'll see you next time. Ciao.